All right, so this is the JG Aurora A5S. S stands for sexy. We're gonna find out if it's sexy or not in this video. JG Aurora release the F5. This is the predecessor to the A5S. S stands for special, and it's special because it has a few upgrades that we're gonna talk about. All right guys, so this is the printer right here, and it's a pretty massive printer. It's got a build volume of 305, 305 by 320. It's got a really nice big heated bed. And its accuracy goes up to 0.2 millimeter height. It's got a massive responsive touchscreen. It was easy to put together, easy to level. The temperature of the heated bed could go up to 100 C and the temperature of the hot end could go up to 240 C. So they can get really hot. You can print lots of material with this printer and it should have no problem printing ABS or PLA. Now the filament diameter is a standard 1.75. It's got a Bowden tube uh, motor that with a Bowden tube that goes into the hot end. Really easy to load. It took me like, like a minute to set it up. Now probably the best feature of the printer is that it's able to recover the print. So let's say the power went out and uh, you're in the middle of a print. Once you turn the printer back on, it's able to resume the print exactly where it left off. And it's also able to resume after you run out of filament. Let's say the filament were able to run out. It would give you a message on the screen. It will let you know that you have to uh, refill the filament. Once you refill the filament, it will continue exactly, it would continue exactly where you left off the print. All right, so let's find out what came in the box. All right, guys, so now we're gonna unbox the JG Aurora A5S. Got the box here. I ripped off my address and name there. So let's open her up. All right, so this is what's in the box. This is a styrofoam thing. It says JG Aurora on it. It's got this big barcode on here. Let's cut this tape right off. All right, so this is what's in the box. Got this instructional manual here. We got the sample spool of filament, yellow. Some warning tips. All right, so remove the heated bed. This is the other part of the 3D printer, which is like the base and the hot end and all that stuff. All right, so this is the tower with the hot end. It's also a base, it looks pretty sturdy. All right, so this is the base and the hot end. It's wrapped pretty good. This is the front with the LCD display. Now we're gonna put this bad boy together. a couple of test prints so we could check out the quality. All right, so this is one of the first things that I 3D printed. It's a cube that has the name Sophia printed onto it. Came out really well. The layer height's pretty good. And it took about like 20 minutes to print. Re very nice. And this is the masterpiece right here. This is a 3D print that took me like six hours to actually 3D print. This is Baby Yoda, as you can see. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a link to this uh, this and that in the description if you guys wanna print them out. But Baby Yoda took me, again, six hours to print, but you know it's gonna take another like six hours to clean up because of all the, all the support material that I had to cut out. I didn't get to finish like sanding it down or anything like that, but it did come out amazing. 
I love this 3D print. I can't wait to, to finish it. Now, my recommendation is if you guys are thinking of getting into 3D printing, this is one of the perfect devices for you guys to start out with because it's really inexpensive. It was only like $380. It's a very high quality, a very large print volume, easily put together. This is one of the easiest uh, 3D printers to put together and the print qualities are amazing. The links to this 3D printer will be in the description. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from Osmartech.com and thank you guys for watching.